What is up, guys? Right guy McFly tuning in. Ba -ba -ba Bam! Uh, we are hanging out here with at least one more MetaZoo product here. Um, I've ordered a, I've actually ordered two MetaZoo release event box Nightfall edition. These are both first edition. I'm gonna open one on camera here, and uh, I'm interested in this set after opening some product yesterday. Um, the second edition Cryptid Nation. I pulled all foils out of the blister packs. Uh, overall net, uh, you know, I, I netted some, some money out of it. And I'm not mad about the pull rates and stuff, but I think the market's obviously up in the air, you know what I mean? So it's one of those things where uh, you always take that pricing uh, with a grain of salt here, so we're gonna get a promo card. I believe we're gonna get a coin, a rule book. We got a release event medal. The original owner of this page attended a MetaZoo first edition Nightfall release event. An interesting card doesn't do much, but just as a first edition promo, I'm not sure what this would do. Huh, interesting. Anyway, uh, we got a deck here Headless Annie deck, I believe. Uh, it comes with a foil, which is a lot different than the last deck that I opened out of the encrypted or uh, the wilderness. So, um, Give them some credit here. I'm opening some older products. I actually like it more than some of their newer products. Uh, destroy Aura. Light Elemental. Imprisonment. Tea Kettler. Boost Aura. Holy Eyes. Unlucky Potion. Dark Watchers. Let's see, I'll put the value on the screen, but. Uh, that looks like it's a gold. Uh, I got a, a non-foil Wendigo. That's huge. Die my token. A full moon and a spirit aura. So we'll set the uh, the dark watchers to the side there, and we'll keep an eye out because um, you know Wendigo is a big card in this set. Um, Nightfall Mothman. Um, Lots of lots of big cards in the set. I mean, right off, I've already gotten more value than out of the wilderness, in my opinion. Lufalane, um, Pyre, Trinity Amulet, Fane Death, Holy Eyes, Unlucky Potion. Speaking of the Wendigo, as a Wendigo first edition silver. And uh, that, that might be worth something here. So uh, that's very cool. Thunderbird, Spiderling Token, Dusk, Spirit Aura. Interesting. Again, some interesting pulls. Um, I've, I've done a little bit of research as I've been going. I've been kind of posting values and things. Um, obviously these are subject to uh, increases and de decreases with the market as as they do, but uh, that's part of the draw, right? Amy Cuck, Cabbage Town Tunnel Monster, Static Wand, Halloween Ghost Sheet, Indexed, Werewolf of Defiance, Dampen, oof, big foils, Alaskan Vortex, Disrupt One Beastie, Controlled by each opponent caster. Take up to two ice spells from your cemetery whose combined war caster three or less and place them in your chapter. That seems really good. And then Righteous Reckoning, I, I do know actually has some value even as an uncommon, interestingly enough. Stars, light aura. Very cool. Very cool. So even just right off, I think I've I've maybe not made up the value because I believe these boxes are reselling for about 30. I got them for about $14.99, really good deal. Uh, comes with another rule book 
And uh, yeah, let's let's open up the, the deck, see what we got here, add to the uh, the collection here. <clears throat> I will say the tabs aren't super easy to find on these, nor are they uh, that easy to open. So uh, I usually just cut the top and crack it that way. It seems a little bit easier. A little, uh, little pro tip for you. We got a headless Annie, one per spell book, a few pullets. Oh wow, they give you like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Fireball. Similar to the one that comes on the deck. Icy Path. Jackal Lantern Bomb. Oh, holy fire. Wow, that's uh, that's bold to put an upside down cross in your card game. That's, uh, that's interesting. I'm not mad about it. So far, you know what I mean? I have one sealed still, um, but it, you know, I got a fire deck here, a fire water deck, clearly. I have a lot of um, cards that I can play in both of these decks, and obviously we got some value uh, here in these packs. Um, I am not sure the value of a promo like this, because all it does is indicate you were at a release event. Um, PSA-wise, this is not a gradable card, in my opinion. It is not worth your time. The borders, you know what I mean? It's not worth it, but um, obviously, being a first edition sealed in condition, uh, collectors may have other opinions on it. Uh, again, I'm coming from entirely a outside perspective, um, collector value, collectible card game value. So, so far, again, um, my, you know, the more product I open, the less mad about it I get. You know what I mean? In this case, I got all foils out of the three packs I opened. The battle deck came with a foil. I feel there's a lot more value in this pack than um, Wilderness. Um, Krypton Nation 2nd Edition seemed to have a lot more value as well. Um, so I guess my only recommendation is maybe just look at the pull rates and foil rates um, for some of these packs before you go and buy because um, not something I remotely looked into at all. But obviously, I'm getting all foils in these older packs, while in Wilderness, I was getting like the the minor foils with the star. Uh, you get one with a minor foil, and then a second one with a star or something to kind of make up for it. So, um, more bang for your buck, certainly. But uh, I pr really appreciate you guys tuning in on this one. Obviously, I was uh, very inspired to get up, make another video. Um, keep kind of some of the meta zoo stuff going uh, you guys will see me coming back with some more legions realms of war openings and boxings um, card analysis deck analysis going forward um, if you guys in the meantime have any questions or things you want me to highlight in my next video please feel free to ask um, i really appreciate your like subscribe um, everybody who's uh, commenting, giving me feedback, it, you know, it's very inspiring. It keeps me wanting to come back and make these videos. So thank you for that. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great day.